Welcome Libra to your August Blue Moon reading. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this period. Libra, I'm going to start off with your oracle cards. This is going to give us our core messages, the main themes coming through for you. I will then go ahead and clarify everything further with the tarot to get deeper insight and deeper messages. Libra, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. This blue moon will be taking place on the 19th of August and we are going to be able to feel the blue moon energy for at least a week before and a week after the 19th of August. A blue moon is a very rare occurrence. That is why we have the saying, once in a blue moon. This super moon is in Aquarius, so there is a strong emphasis on all the relationships in our lives. It's time to really go deep and look at our relationships and what they mean to us. It's a time of releasing what is no longer working for us and giving ourselves space and permission to move on to what now works for us and what we connect with. It is also a great time to set meaningful intentions and goals as the super blue moon is elevated with auspicious, intense energy that has longevity. Just a quick side note, please excuse the bruise on my hand. This is a week after I caught it in the laundry rack. I know it might not look good, but it is so much better than it was. Libra, I'm going to start off over here with talent, and I'm just going to get your clarifiers. So we want to see now what talent is for Libra, please. And we have the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Libra, this is a very interesting message. There is somebody coming through here presenting as Queen of Swords. Now, this could be a masculine or feminine. It's the energy of Queen of Swords I am speaking about. This Queen of Swords could be somebody already in your life or a new person coming in. But they are coming in, my dear Libras, and they are going to see something unique and special about you. Now, this could come through in any area of your life. This could be in your personal life, or in your work life, or in your family life. But this Queen of Swords comes in, she sees something in you, my dear Libras, and she is going to let it be known that you have something unique and special to offer. Now, Queen of Swords is a very interesting personality because, my dear Libra, this Queen is not going to mince her words. She's going to be direct. She's going to let you know exactly what she's thinking. And if she feels you've got a gift or a talent in a certain area, She's going to let you know and she's going to be quite firm about the fact that you should recognize it and do something with it and not to lose something that sets you apart. Now, this is going to play out very differently for everybody. This, my dear Libras, could be a new boss that you start working for or even your existing boss that see that you are good at something that they have perhaps not seen before or it's new to them and for them what they are seeing here is a great asset because we see the nine of cups here they then reward you in some way so i will give you an example my dear libra if your existing boss suddenly becomes aware how good you are say with negotiating or managing difficult people they will now put you in a different position or give you a different role within your job description. Perhaps you get a promotion 
or an increase somewhere, somehow, the Nine of Cups energy comes into it, which is the wish fulfillment. So you do something you are very good at and you are rewarded for it. Libra, this could be a friend, a friend that sees something in you that perhaps they had not seen before. Maybe you go to a pottery class together and they see you create something quite wonderful. This friend will then encourage you, my dear Libras, to take it further. They will be the person who says, Libra, you've got something. Do more with it. Learn more. And then perhaps you could even start selling it. You've got something unique about you. This could be, my dear Libras, that you have a family function and someone you haven't seen for absolute years comes in and they are bowled over at the spread you have put on. And they're like, Libra, you have got to go into catering. This is exceptional. Queen of Swords is coming in, my dear Libras. They see something in you that is unique and special and they are bringing in Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment. They're going to encourage you and be your number one supporter in taking whatever this talent is to the next level. Whatever it is that we are seeing and speaking about here, Libra, it's very positive because what it gives you, it gives you a boost to allowing your wish fulfillment to come in. Very nice to see. Let's move on now and see what number 10, Unfinished Symphony, is all about. And I'm just going to get your clarifiers. So we want to see now what Unfinished Symphony is for Libra, please. And you have the Hermit and the Nine of Pentacles. So you've got Nine of Cups and Nine of Pentacles, Libra. Very interesting and very auspicious. Libra Unfinished Symphony speaks to us of unfinished business, an incompletion somewhere, a lack of closure. There's loose ends somewhere, my dear Libra, that you have to take care of. Now, with the Hermit coming in here, I think if this resonates with you, you're going to know immediately what I'm speaking about because the Hermit tells me that many of my Libras who have such a situation going on in their lives are thinking about how they can do it, when they can do it, what do they need to close off something so that they can move on. So we see with the Hermit energy, you're really spending time, Libra, considering what this is for you and making a definite plan in order to finish this off so that you can move forward. When you close this off and you are able to move forward, my dear Libras, you are moving into Nine of Pentacles. Now this Nine of Pentacles could very well be connected to our Nine of Cups energy. So this could be that you now have a new job opportunity or you're wanting to start your own business and now you have to close off what you are doing at the moment, give notice, work in your notice period, do a handover so that you can move on. It also could be, my dear Libras, that there is a lot of research to be done in terms of starting something new. An unfinished symphony speaks to us of a symphony you have started, but you've got a lot of work and research to do before you move on to your Nine of Pentacles. Now, Nine of Pentacles, my dear Libras, is a wonderful energy and an energy most of us strive to reach. It's the energy of financial independence, the energy of not wanting for anything, being able to take care of ourselves. So what we are seeing here, that whatever our Queen of Swords recognizes in you, Libra, whatever this talent is, and my dearest Libras, this talent can come through so differently for everybody. Like I said, it could be an actual talent, like being creative in some way, or it could be something within you, the way you speak, the way you present yourself, the way you negotiate, the way you talk to people your outlook to life, your vision, 
your input. Libra, do not second guess what Queen of Swords sees in you. Because with Nine of Cups and Nine of Pentacles coming out, my gosh, Libra, you are going to be on your way to something quite wonderful. So take the time to do the work you need to do so you find your light that will bring you to your Nine of Cups and Nine of Pentacles. Very nice to see, my dear Libras. Now let us move on and see what Waxing Moon is all about. The energy is gaining momentum. And I will just get your clarifiers. So we want to see now what this is all about for Libra, please. And we have the Four of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Libra, this is going to be a very exciting period for you. You are coming through presenting as King of Pentacles. Once again, it does not matter if you're masculine or feminine. It's the energy of King of Pentacles we are speaking about. King of Pentacles tells me, that this blue moon period is going to elevate you to a position of power and strength within yourself, my dear Libras, and on the physical plane. You're going to feel far more grounded and connected to what you are doing and what you are bringing to the table. King of Pentacles is a very solid and stable king. He knows what he wants. He knows where he's going. And he doesn't fear of his path. If, my dear Libras, there has been a lull leading up to the blue moon period, and things have been very slow, and nothing much has happened, and you might have felt like you really were getting nowhere fast, we've got the waxing moon energy telling us that energy is gaining momentum. So this blue moon period, energy is picking up things are going to start happening quickly for you. You will see very quickly that whoever Queen of Swords might be for you, who identifies your unique talent, your special gift that you offer, and you acknowledge what it is, and you now acknowledge perhaps this is something you can really take further, and you feel the essence of the Nine of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles, my dearest Libras, you're going to see that you're going to get out of this energy of inertia, not moving, not going anywhere, and the pace picks up. And before you know it, my dear Libras, you're going to be feeling like King of Pentacles and living the Nine of Pentacles and Nine of Cups energy. Libra, the number 10 is your lucky number over the full moon period. So any combination or variation of the numbers 1 and 0, please consider very auspicious. You, my dear Libras, just need to be open to where you are gifted and talented, where you can grow and expand, because once you acknowledge that and you ride that wave, my dear Libras, you are never going to look back. What an exciting time this is going to be for you. So that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you a wonderful and meaningful blue moon period. And I'm sending you all so much love.